Connor from... I also feel like it's weird that he's on the other side. Connor has the on the right hand side. Why would he choose to go for the left hand side? He's not taking a very good risk here. If he wants to win this game, he's really going to have to shut down the turn one at a time. Second run. Both players seem to be in a comfortable rotation where they're really counter, 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 counter. I haven't seen any switch up, and that's what's gonna win the game. When you're in um, a sort of a deadlock, right? When you're playing against Hog Cycle, you're playing against Trifecta, you have similar decks. You get you basically you get stuck in these rotations where you play this card, this card, this card, this card, this card, right? And I feel like both players are stuck in that sort of rotation. They really need to break out if they want to win this game. Yeah, I mean, you got this. He's always trying to push with the hog rider by itself with the musketeer. He's going to get the hog rider. He's going to maybe get the tower. No, it doesn't get the tower, but now the musketeer is just getting cycled with goblins. So it's really coming down to who's going to get the damage with their spells. Honestly, is what it's coming down to. Definitely, and if you notice, both players have been prioritizing pumps so much. A lot of them are sitting at 10 elixir. That's really weird to see for such high-level players to sit at 10 elixir for so long. Um, there we go. Hog gets the tower, gets one hit in, and that poison is going to trickle away. That's putting Connor at the advantage. All he's got to do is make a great counter and that same push, and this could be game. Yeah, that could be game. And I mean, he already he dropped the cannon down, so he doesn't have a cannon for the hog rider when it comes from trainer's side. But... And he dropped the Inferno down on trainer side, dropped the Inferno. So now it's who can get the hog in there without the defense. I think trainer trainer is really doing a great job at shutting down the pumps. Whereas Connor has been focusing so much on the damage. This is where trainer really needs to make his comeback, right? He's he's up the elixir, he's up the pumps. If he wants to win this game, he's gotta be thinking about his setup, and that needs to happen now. Already, Connor already come in with a good game. Wow! Throwing, throwing the emotes right off the bat. You know this game is all about evoking strong emotions, and you know Trainer has got to be feeling them right now as Connor gets the hit off that oh my hog, goodness. the zap, woo! And the musketeer to put it away. Good game, Connor. And Connor takes the win one to zero over Trainer Dippus. So we're going to the next match here. Riggle A versus Alvi. This is probably arguably one of their biggest grudge matches. Alvi and Riggle A have both been touted as some of the best players on each person's respective teams. We have a quick hawk coming in. Riggle A's 
Regal is running the hog, the the trifecta deck, the staple trifecta deck for his side. And Alvi's running more of the the hog cycle, the more of the hog counter. It's something that is actually can be really effective. You wouldn't you wouldn't think it, but a, a low cost hog cycle can actually be really effective against the trifecta deck, especially if you make your counters count. And here you saw those counters. Now you're seeing the counter push. Hog gets in one hit on that. There we go, and the zap to shut down the cannon. Hog unfortunately won't make it to tower. But that princess is putting in work though, sitting in the back, just sitting there, just chipping stuff away. And that's how you get the value out of her, right? Especially, 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 especially when you know you're going up against things like cannon. And made Ali able, Alvi able to basically double pump up, right? But the problem I think with Alvi's deck right now, he doesn't have a poison. Not running a uh, fireball, nothing like that. The only spell they're running is fire. Is the um, sorry? Is that? That's the only spell that they have in deck. Well, I think he's really counting. I think Alvi's really counting on that ice spirit to do work. And if you get a really good combo with the hog, it can. I um, I feel like Riggle's deck is way. Like, not the deck to be playing it against. Trifecta, you're not going to get the value out of the Ice Spirit that you need. So I agree with you. Something like Poison, something like Fireball, anything to get rid of those those pumps would have been a lot Ooh, of Ooh, he gets a hit on the tower right there. That's a big one. In fact, that secured the split push over there. Hog coming in on both sides. Valkyrie and Skeletons. The cannon pulls the Valkyrie, but Hog makes the tower two hits. Three hits. Four hits on that right hit. And another Hawk Rider and Mini Pack coming on the other side. Wow, this, this is, is going to be a long cycle. Those pumps stick. They're really, really taking advantage of those pumps here. Man, and the double split push puts the tower extremely low. Skeleton's trying to take out that Hawk Rider. He zaps him away. That's going to be. Oh, we dropped him. He's forced to get yeah. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Forced to use the pump as. The defense, he wastes the pump. Riggle's doing anything he can to stop from losing a tower. He knows he's close to taking that right side. He plays Hog right into the Ice Spirit. One hit, two, no, shut down. Oh my oh. goodness. I thought Alfie had that whole game until the very end when he just overextended. Um, and didn't... Which doesn't matter as much for Tournament League, but it just really shows that it really, really shows that Crucible is the underdog in this in this tournament. All right, so we're jumping into the gameplay. We got Retaliation versus Free Willy. First sign of it, we've seen the um the first time we've ever seen. Wow, I'm so I'm just very lost right now. <laughs> it's Ice all Wizard. good. There we go. Ice there Wizard. you go. I couldn't think of the name for it. I was like, what? Because I haven't seen it all tournament. I was like, I don't know what to say for this name. You know what, I think it's really weird that we haven't seen Ice Wizard all, all game, especially especially in a card that's so good in tournament gameplay. Uh, it's really interesting just to see it being used now. Retaliation using Prince, wow, can't use Hog, probably can't use Hog, so he's forced to use a different damage dealer. Very interesting to see the Prince come out, he almost gets the tower, but the cycle that Free Willy has is just way, way too good. Well played by Clout Gaming. So, uh, Free Willy has two pumps down now, and Retaliation only has one. And Retaliation's deck is a lot more elixir, I believe, than uh, Free Willy's is, as I'm noticing right now. We haven't seen one card, I'm guessing it's going to be a Hog uh, Rider. That's what we've usually seen, so I'm guessing that's what I'm going to see. And it makes it one, two, two hits on Tower, giving Free Willy the advantage. We do have Retaliation coming in with that Princess. Ice Wizard, perfect counter to Princess. Not only can it take out Princess, but it can make for a great counter push. Retaliation dropping that Valkyrie in the back. He must be trying to get some sort of Prince push going here. Um, I don't know if he's going to be able to really do anything against that cannon minions, though. Guards, oh, nice. In. Look at the zap. Doesn't take their shields off like we were talking about. Prince made it to tower on that right-hand side. Three hits, four hits, and the Valkyrie. That's going to be a tower. Wow, that's and the nice. Thanks comes out. Crucible Gaming with the Banks, I love it. Shutting down that tower early forces, really, really forces uh, really into a tight spot. Now he's worried that he needs to get that tower just to stay in the game. He makes a poor push there, and that could be it for him. Prince shutting down that Ice Wizard. 
Cannon is gone. Valkyrie just soaks so much damage. Woo! Princess taking down the minions. Fireball takes down the guard shield. This is so effective, so effective. Stickbug was talking about this before, how guards are so good in tournament gameplay. Zap doesn't take away their shields. Fireball doesn't even kill them, and for a three-cost counter, I'm surprised we're not seeing more of them. He's trying to desperation flash push with the hog rider, but the, but he uses the ice spirit and then drops the Tesla in front of him to stop it. Well played there. Crucible Gaming showing that they are not to be messed with. Clout's gonna have to really step up their ma their mash if they want to keep this keep this uh, on their side for a lead like this. Here we go, jumping into the next match. This is the one I was excited for. Go, Wilhawks. You know why? Guess what card you're using this today? My favorite card. So let's say it. Expo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no way. Awesome. I expect to see the Expo from Go yeah. That'll be extremely exciting. I actually did not expect that whatsoever. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. So we got uh, a version of the the what is it the, the trifecta with the poison instead of a look at the guards in the fire spirit. It's exactly kind of how I poison my deck for this expo to work. And but expo it it all the targets and get and took the tower. I feel like where most people would think that mistake. I think that was a lucky move by him. He got that tower basically 33% damage for free. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. There's nothing worse than dropping an expo and getting it shut down by Valkyrie and never letting it hit tower. I think I think Gohawks really took advantage of that him playing the pump and he got some decent damage on. Here's the Inferno. I was bashing it earlier. Gohawks proving that it's still relevant. Rebel unfortunately is gonna get those two pumps though. He's gonna get those two pumps, boys. That's the problem that this is the, the, the bad part about this deck. I don't think he had as much um direct damage to take out those X the uh, the sorry, the elixir pumps. Yeah, and just Oh no! He comes in with the lightning! Okay, oh, I didn't know he was, was running lightning. I, I know what his last card is. We're waiting to see it, but I know what it is. I'm just waiting for you to see it because I want to hear the hype when it comes out. Oh, there yes! It it's the Log! Bringing Log into tournament gameplay. Log is arguably one of the most underrated cards. Just as guards. Log guards, guys. Super underrated for tournament gameplay. You can get so much value out of Log. Yes, it doesn't target air, but it shuts down a princess Look at these guards. Look how much damage these going to get to the tower. Look how much damage they just did to the tower with the three guards just by themselves getting the tower did so much they brought it down from almost a thousand down to like 700. Exactly, that lightning's gonna shut down the pump, and you know what? Because because they're they're weak, right? Because you think guards, Rebel didn't even think to counter them. He didn't even play the cannon until they were done, and I was look at the amount of mistake cost him 600 damage on his tower overall. This could hurt though. This could hurt that freeze without that could hurt. Expo as defense shuts the whole push down. I don't know why he chose to use his log there. He should have saved the elixir. He was taking the damage from that musketeer anyways. Um, well, he has a tower with the with the lighting. He has a tower. It's over. Log it and it's done. So now he has to just worry about the fence. That's what I'm saying though. He, he used his logs early, so he definitely has to make this defense count and try to get his get his get, cycle back to his log. Here we go. Mini pack can stop that hog. And. Wait, I don't think he dropped his log far enough. Oh, he did! Oh, it makes it! The log for the win. No, I need some freaking chat hype. I need the hash underdogs, and they're really destroying this. They really said, you know what, we're gonna come out, we're gonna play those offhand decks, and we're gonna kill it. And they've they've lived up to exactly what they said. So we're jumping the next one. He just a hog freeze in there right away, gets to the tower. He's gonna get three hits. Four hits on the tower right away by Rams. Not only the four hits, but really shuts down, shuts down those uh, barbs with the minions. Princess is gonna secure that counter. Princess is such a valuable card. And because Ice Wizard sees more play, I feel like a lot of people haven't seen Princess in a long time, and they're probably regretting that right about. Off of the um, shared screen. Oh no. Yeah, the I'm shared screen is down. Um, we can just keep on talking about it just in case people. Can yeah, so, so Inferno Tower, Inferno Tower Hog right here. Uh, Rise really making a comeback. He really got his Hog push to count the last time, and he's trying to get it to count now. Here we go. We're back up. It's both really close game here. It's gonna be whoever makes a mistake here. 586 left on Ryu, and then 342 left on Rems. Who's gonna get the last possible? 
like go. push going here. That could just well, so end far the game. it's looking like Ryu. He got finally got great value out of that Inferno. I was waiting for it all game. He finally got the value he needed, and all he needs to do is get this hog to tower. And it gets the hit off. Now we're just looking for the zap that's, to finish. Zap that's not enough for a zap. That's not. I don't think it's enough At for a tournament level? to take it out. I don't think his app does 80, 80, uh, 78. Dang, then Ryu is really looking to get in at least one more hit of poke damage. And it's counter, counter, hog, counter, 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 hog. He went all in on that push. Double that freeze to stop the game. Oh my gosh. And they zapped. They zapped, but Ryu is going to take it. I think. Oh man, I think Rami...